When doing FNA, there is a way to enter parallel to the ultrasound probe and a way to enter perpendicular. The way the needle goes in parallel with the probe is safe, because the ultrasound shows the full length of the needle. Which is why it's recommended for beginners. On the other hand, the way the needle is inserted perpendicular to the probe is not easy for beginners to do. Needles appear only as echogenic spots on ultrasound. Non-parallel approaches that enter the needle perpendicular to the ultrasound probe make it difficult to find the needle tip for beginners. And it is dangerous because the needle shaft, not the needle tip, may be mistaken for a tip on ultrasound. However, the advantage of this method is that the needle penetrates the tissue the least. Compared to the non-parallel approach, to and from motion is easier. However, if you are not confident in using ultrasonography to inspect the needle tip, I urge that you avoid using this technique. If the needle enters perpendicular to the ultrasound probe, Having the habit of positioning the lesion in the middle of the monitor solves one concern. Then, how should I determine the upper and lower positions where the needle goes in? As you can see, when the ultrasound confirms the lesion, the ultrasound beam is slightly above the probe position. So the nodule is actually slightly above the probe. And if the needle goes in from above the probe, the angle of the needle goes down slightly, so the needle tip is located below the probe. Therefore, if the needle enters this state, it will be located at the bottom of the nodule in the case of a very large nodule, and if the nodule is small, it will be located outside the nodule, and targeting will fail. The solution is not to stick the needle tip close to the probe but slightly above the probe as an entry site. If you put a needle tip is too low of the nodule on ultrasound, it is recommended to remove the needle and reinsert the needle from the upper rather than the place where the needle was first inserted. The nodule is located at the upper posterior of the right thyroid gland. After positioning the nodule in the middle of the monitor, put the needle in the middle and upper of the ultrasound probe. As you insert the needle, you must trace the needle tip that appears to be an echogenic spot on ultrasound. I'll show you a different case. To make sure it's a tip and not a needle shaft, use ultrasound to follow the echogenic spoda needle tip all the way to the end. Before doing FNA on the patient, you should practice enough. Additionally, it is advised to repeat the entire process using image training if at all possible. FNA may be hampered in patients who have severe carotid artery pulsation, as a result of significant tension prior to FNA. There are several ways to help ease the patient's tension. Repeated practice using phantom or image training can help prevent problems caused by nervousness by less experienced doctors. Thank you.